Hey, JenniferLine, JenniferLine.com. I want to talk about writing to change the world. Whoa. Gandhi said change happens when deeply felt private experiences are given public legitimacy. When we tell our stories and we tell them well, we can change the world. Think about it. Writers change the world around the world every day from a letter that's written in the local letter to the editor section. Yes, they still exist. That makes you change your mind and go to that school board meeting and have a voice and stand up. Or maybe it's an op-ed piece in the New York Times by Paul Krugman and you start to think differently about economics or change your, how much your tire man or sell your house. <laughs> of course, there's propaganda that's created by horrible organizations. We don't even want to think about how that changes the world every day. Think for a second about all the writers who have changed you. Just the ones that spring to mind. You don't even have to go look on your bookshelves, right? Who has shaped you? Who has shaped your opinion? Who has made you a different person? It doesn't mean you went from here to here. It might be from here to here. When I reflected on this, I thought of Rumi, Ram Dass, Mary Oliver, Bill McKibben, Sister Helen Pregen, Terry Tempest Williams, Marion Woodman, so many others. That was just off the top of my head. Words matter. In fact, our commonly agreed upon stories, that's what has helped us as sapiens, homo sapiens, our species, be capable of what we've created, both amazing and horrible. It's because we create a story and we all buy into it. For example, the story of democracy. So how do you change the world with your writing? How do you change your world with your writing? Well, let's just state the obvious. <laughs> you gotta write. <laughs> you can't just think about it or talk about it. And you can't just write for yourself. Expressive writing, thinking out loud, problem solving. I do it almost every day. I teach it in the Writer's Oasis. It's one of my most important tools. But to change the world, you have to stretch to connect with your reader. You have to nudge them, even this much, to a new way of thinking, seeing, or feeling. So you have to write for the reader, or a reader. You also have to believe, or temporarily pretend to believe, that you have the right to your opinions. That your ideas and ways of seeing, of feeling, matter. You really have to own it, feel it in your body. This is so important. And you have to investigate those ideas and feelings. Why do you believe them? Why do they matter to you? Where do you need to be skeptical? Where do you need to do some research? It's so easy to pass on a, a piece of research or a quote that really isn't right or correct because we haven't taken the time to kind of question ourselves or to skew research with our own bias. So we also, also have to bring in our skeptical self to write to change the world. And that, you know, doesn't mean that we break ourselves down, but that we question ourselves. We also have to pay attention to what scares us. What scares you? What breaks your heart? Who in the world do you look up to, project like, wow, that's amazing because of their actions and courage? You can't be passive if you want to write to change the world. You can't always be lost in thoughts about yourself and your own problems. You have to be looking outside of yourself, paying attention to what keeps snaring your attention again and again. And it can be subtle. So it really means being aware and being out in the world, being curious and learning. And you have to be willing to care to care deeply, to feel deeply, and to show that you care and that you're vulnerable in your writing, even if you're not writing personal story. This vibe that you care, you feel it as a reader, and we feel it when we read your work, and it gives us a sense of the knowledge and commitment that you have, and that, that helps us be engaged. It's almost like the silence between the notes in music. To change the world with your writing, to change your world with your writing, you have to let your voice shine in your word choice, in your metaphors, in your way of seeing this particular challenge and opportunity you're writing about. You might try to start by writing your first draft the way you talk. Forget about shoulds, as in I should write like an academic or a newspaper reporter or whatever, think, uh, whatever form you're writing in that you think you should write. Write the way you talk. Find the passion and the original spark of the idea and then start shaping and crafting. 
And you got to know that any form of writing can change the world. We see that almost daily with Twitter. <clears throat> what form brings out your voice? What form fits what you want to do? Try different forms. Don't settle on just one. Maybe it's a post on Medium. Maybe it's a letter to the editor. Maybe it's a letter to a friend. Experiment with what form helps you shape your message and works with your voice. And if you've already got it, great. But if you feel stuck or stymied, experiment. Also experiment, as I often say, with how you work best. Know you're working best. And if you're stuck, try different ways to write to help you develop this right to change the world part of you. Do you need to write like you would talk to a friend? Do you need to write a little bit every day because it's kind of overwhelming? Do you need to write by hand, fast, using maybe some writing prompts? Do you need to then put it all together and deep it in thick it in one long session? What time of day works best for you? So play around, pay attention. It doesn't have to be a big project, but if it's not working or you're trying to stretch into this new kind of writing to change the world, then feel free to experiment with when and how you write. And of course, you have to find and craft stories that bring your point of view alive. You have to translate your values, your passion about this subject into action through stories. You know that all kinds of neuroscience and psychologists are telling us that stories stimulate parts of our brain that help us have empathy for other people. To help people see themselves, feel themselves, feel that it's possible to do something they've never done before, aka change something, aka change the world through your writing, you got to help them imagine what this new world could look like. And the very best way to do that is through story. No matter what your form, story fits in there. Related to that, this is a hard one for me, don't default into preaching. It's lazy. Stories are harder, but they work better. And when you preach, your reader's going to feel talked down to. Like you, the writer, has got it figured out and knows better. That doesn't make us want to change. Leave that talking down to the World Bank. <laughs> And if you're writing about someone else's story, because again, it doesn't have to be your own story, connect to how they got from where they were, stuck or not doing anything, living on the street, um, completely in despair about climate change, being deep into debt, to how they got to where they are now, a climate change activist or in their own apartment with a decent job or out of debt and saving money for their business or to buy a house. Show us the steps, help us walk through it, so we can see ourselves making the same change. And of course, you want to give your reader a call to action. Again, no matter what the form, what do you suggest that he or she do? Don't leave them without another small step that they can take. Because otherwise, they're going to be frustrated with what your good writing brought up in them, you know? And they have all this energy. So help direct them to what they can do next. Again, whatever the form, whether it's a letter to the editor or your sales page. So here's your call to action. Name the one issue, one, that you would do just about anything to change in the world, to budge even one inch, to help one person feel or see differently. And then sit with it. Is that really it? Is that your truest one, the one that really makes your heart ache? Once you're sure, for now, this is just this issue for now, not for all time. There may be many, just pick one. Then brainstorm five forms that you could write into that might help you create change. Because in an email to a friend, a Facebook post, a short story, etc. Five. And then pick just one. Yeah, again, choosing. And write for 10 minutes without stopping without editing, without crossing out every story or story fragment that you know about this issue that might fit, work well in this particular one form. Gives you some structure, gives you a way to start. It might feel a little irritating because it's a limit, but that's what we need. So what you waiting for? Go get it done. Take some action, right to change the world. Your stories, your point of view matter. You're the only one who has them. Thanks.